Gardening in West Australia's poor sandy soils can be challenging to say the least, but I want to show you a garden that not only survives but thrives in what was originally very difficult conditions. This stunning garden is the passionate result of Carmelo Arto, CEO of the Breast Cancer Research Centre of WA. At least 10 of our projects have led to enhanced breast cancer treatments worldwide. Wow. And uh, our principal investigator is Professor Arlene Chan, who recently won the West Australian of the Year Professions Award and is known internationally as a key breast cancer researcher. So we're a key player in the breast cancer research internationally and have a lot of international collaborations that we, uh, that we work with. It's situated on the Perth coastal sand plain, but it feels like we're in a lush, semi-tropical environment. That means some serious work has gone into enriching the soil. So let's find out how that's been achieved. The, the whole philosophy was around, if you can't eat it, don't plant it. I like it. So we were quite interested in making it fruit tree intensive and we built the soil up with organics. We put clay into it. We've got two worm farms. I've got a, a composting bin. Uh, we've got some chooks out the back, so readily, um, readily available fertiliser, slow release fertiliser, but also the seaweed solution. Trace elements if we need it, and mulch uh, heavily once a year, and then top up around the fruit trees during the year. What a magic combination, mate. No wonder it's all come together. Well, there's a lot more little magic secrets to this garden that I'd love to explore. Lovely, there's plenty around the back to see. Mallow, one of the best ways of growing cellar greens is in an aquaponic system. Is it fairly easy to use? Oh, it is. It's obviously minimal water use. We just top up the 1,000 litre tank as we need it and um, get some great salad out and uh, obviously lots at the moment. This is a pretty lush, sort of stunning garden. What about your overall water use in a garden like this? We use less than the, the average, significantly less than the average because of the bore water plus the mulching. A lot of the uh, reticulation is, is below ground, so there's minimal evaporation and uh, minimal water use to get what we get. So um, I think we're, uh, we're doing all right in the water. You're um, getting the runs on the board, mate. Yeah, it's great. Just because a ball is installed, it's still vital that we respect one of our most precious resources. And this form of reticulation is ideal in reducing evaporation and the overall amount of water the garden needs. Camelo, thanks so much, mate, for sharing the garden with us and insights into the wonderful Breast Cancer Research Centre. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you very much.